Hello? Is it working? Hello there, sorry about that. Technical difficulties, classic, not a CC stream without them. Yeah, I shouldn't tinker with streams once they get started, just let, just let it be whatever. Let's see how long it is. Whatever delay it is, I'm dealing with it. I'm not I'm not risking another crash. <laughs> Five seconds? That's 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 passable. Hello, Rob. Welcome to the stream. It's about 40. Jeez. Okay, that's, uh... Yeah, that's definitely an improvement. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. It's fine. I had some technical difficulties. So, technically, you're early to the new stream. Because the last one crashed. Uh, I have to wet, go dry them and later. But I need to get more stone. But I'm kind of out in my stone box right now. Uh, did I bring any deep slate? Didn't, that's really annoying. Okay, we'll see how far we can get with the stones we have on hand. Maybe this gives us a good chance to, like, kind of force ourselves to use some of the, uh, other stones. Like, maybe do a dripstone one. Blackstone, smooth basalt. We'll see what these three look like. Obviously not together, but... Hello, friend. Because that one here is going to be... I might just kind of change this all to be assault for now. And there too. I think if I have like one of the... This one here I think would be a good dripstone. Uh, what even is pains and needles? Oh, pains and needles, because it's definitely not pain, but it cripples you. It's uh, basically like all your scent, all your nerves have been cut off, and then the second you like shift and like allow data to go through, it's sending it all through at once, and it's just like an alarming, staticky feeling. At least that's my understanding of it. Basically, just like. A Bunch of trapped signals that get to go through all at once. Like it's like if your Wi-Fi turns off for a second, or like you send a text and it doesn't send, so you send another text. It doesn't send, so you send another text, and then like it just sends all the text through at once. <laughs> the person just gets bombarded. I don't know if I like dripstone. I don't know. Like dripstone just adds a block. I don't know how big of a fan I am. I use it for now, but it's just it's not my favorite. Inferno says, it's been a while since I could tune into a stream. Well, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. Uh, just doing some... Hello, trains. Welcome to the stream. Got loads of regulars today. It's funny, though, when you're trying to walk in the street, you forget how long your leg is. <laughs> yeah, it's a real, uh, it's a real sensory resetter. I want brown bricks, whether that's dripstone or sold, never bricks, or some other stone blocks. Well, we've got mud bricks, but I'm guessing you mean, like, a darker brown. Annoying that it's only one tough off. Can I just go like nick a little bit of tough? Yeah, put the back later, don't worry. <laughs> Take that there. Okay, and then. Kind of want another of this one. I don't want them to all be different. Maybe do like a smooth basalt with regular basalt. Kind of like a, this sort of thing. Yeah, well, that's, what, that's what I'm planning to. I just, I just drained it for now to uh, actually work on them. Yeah, so I, that's, that's, I'm really excited to get it in once it does. And then... Do I like them being all different colours? Um, I think it needs a little bit of work, but I don't think it's terrible. I'll sit on it for a bit. Uh, we'll just do this bottom one with blackstone. Smooth basalt might be good. Yeah, I've got a bit here, but I might just kind of go a bit more in with it over this bit. Make it less deep slaty and more basalty. They kind of are like basalt in real life, I'd assume. At least similar. Oh, 
Fuck off. Yeah, okay, do some more basalt going up the side here. Use less of the deep slate. The torches are not lasting. I should really put them on the walls. <laughs> so yeah, I had a new video go out just before the stream. I'm, I'm really happy with it, so I recommend watching that if you haven't after the stream. And also got... So I'm going to be doing some more rail stuff soon, though it's not in like new tutorials or new designs, but it's going to be a video actually making some rails. But I don't know when that will be. It's not like an immediate project thing. Can I see a quick wide view of that area, like the whole sort of this bit here? We've got this little like river area here and then got the like rock pools. I don't know if I like this. I think maybe if I get rid of the dripstone and put that one as like... I think what I'll do is make this one blackstone, make this one tough. I think that should be a bit better. I just don't like the red or brown or whatever colour it is. What's above what you were building? Uh, just like a big sort of... I think we call it the Madonna. It's like a big, uh, big hole in the middle of a big meadow. Which I think looks really cool. And then this is like a rail bridge that goes across. And just working on the way of getting like up to the upper layers if you don't want to use elytra or rails. Because otherwise horses and stuff are going to be stuck down here forever. So you chose the darker rock because yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to like uh, play with silhouettes and stuff, and I'm doing that by having each of the things be like different colors rather than the same. Uh, for the rail bridge, it would be cool if I have a giant arch bridge or something when it's decorated. I think we're going to kind of keep it in glass, but maybe having some. I don't know if there's going to be law around it or not, but having it sort of still be like archy bridge shape, but making it sort of ethereal almost, I think that could be kind of cool. Yeah, I want to switch out this one down here for blackstone. Dang, if it's like an overhang, I would suggest a big dripstone dripping water into it. But on CC, heck yeah. Law? I don't. Do we? We have like very basic law on this server. I I don't really bother to be honest. It's not my kind of thing. And like, if you actually pay attention to the uh, the areas I build, you realize oh, these don't actually make any sense at all. It's less personal, more like more like locational. Yeah, it's less of a story and more of like a world building, I guess. Yeah, so like the the idea behind my, my main base of Stockholm is that it's like people have settled there, like travelers have decided to settle finally, and they chose Stockholm. But the thing is, I I didn't realize that Holm, like because it's it's obviously based on Stockholm, um, Stockholm, Stockholm, Stockholm. Well, basically Stockholm, like the the word home in Swedish means uh like island, and my area is distinctly not an island. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You could perhaps go with a Semberengen style bridge on the Semberengen railway. Yes, I know what that is. Quietly Google Semberengen. I'm assuming that I'm completely butching that. Semberengen. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a stork home, like stork is in like pumpkin stork, and then home. Is it home or home? I'm assuming it's pronounced like home, but I can't not read it as home. Okay, there we go. I think I like that a bit more. Semmering. Ah, that, okay, that's actually showing up something. Oh, like those like bridges with loads of archers. Yeah, they're cool. I want to do one of those somewhere on the server. There we go. Okay, uh, let's actually fill this up with water now. 
I can probably deal, de detail these a bit more, but I kind of want them to be a bit basic for the sake of the silhouette. But this one's a bit more detailed since it's actually going to be somewhat visible. Oh, I need to cover this top bit. Oh, this is called Deep Slate. <laughs> so, uh, Lumble sent uh, everyone in the backyard server like a website for music, like that streamers and stuff use. Like it's copyright free and all that. And I've just been, uh, I've been obsessed with it, and I'm trying not to. Uh, Overuse it. If you could, will you ever try out the create mod? I've tried it before. I really like it. It's just uh, when it comes to the create mod, like the the gameplay loop is very different, and it doesn't really suit my style. I don't think. Like I, I get, I do quite like factory games and stuff, but I don't know. Something about the create mod just doesn't really gel. I like I like trains. I like making train lines, as you can probably tell by my channel. Like, but the factory stuff, I I, I just I don't think it. I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's, 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 it's a big case of I don't know really. I need to try it again, maybe. I think that might be the issue. Is I just kind of I never commit to it. I kind of like play it for like a few hours, or like I play it up to like getting a crushing wheel, then I kind of stop. Can't type really well fast fast right now because I'm on my phone while I'm in the train back home eating some bread. That's the life, innit? On a train, bread. Mm. I want bread. I'd probably only play it for the moving stuff. Yeah. It's it seems really fun as like a creative like building tool, getting like these actual movement and stuff. But if you if you want to do any progression, it's very you have to like really commit to it, and I just don't really have the energy to commit to another Minecraft world. I'd rather put that time into a different game, you know? I feel like Minecraft and Create are almost competing. And I just, I'd, I'd rather be doing vanilla. But I can give it a go, I have to give another go sometime. Okay, uh, I think I might sort of, I do love Create mod, it's great. Oh, it's, it's, it's a fantastic mod, I won't deny it, I just think it's uh, not my style. I think, it's, I think it makes it, it... There's too many things that are designed for a specific purpose. And, like, I don't really like that as much. Like, with Minecraft, you've got sort of very general stuff. While, like, the Create mod has, like... Oh, this is a rope pulley. This is, this is like, this is the only way you can interpret it. Obviously, it's not as cut and dry as that, but... That's why I like Create... That's why I like detailing and stuff. FYI, I'm not going to be de interacting, but we're still watching, don't worry. <laughs> have a little, uh, have a little lurker stream. They're nice, I'll be so have some. Yeah, I like this. I think this, uh, this adds a bit of better shape to it. Now, I like how in Minecraft, a lot of the stuff you don't really use for their intended purposes. Obviously, I'm using, like, stone and dirt and stuff in the correct orientation here. But then, like, uh, over there, I have, like, redstone as a tree. And I just really like that, and... And with redstone as well, like, you've got, like, very vague sort of hopper, piston, all that stuff, but there's no specific, like, design juice for a lot of them. Quick plus chipped is a great combo. Chipped's the one with, like, the, the benches, right? That let you have all the custom blocks and stuff. Yeah, that's a good one. It almost spoils you for choice. You get, like, paralysis. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that's probably good on the whatever you call those, like the rock pools. I want to go start working on the actual path now. Have it actually go somewhere. Uh, I want to use the wood. I've got some dirt too, and some stone. I'm going to need to get, maybe get a way of getting up from this side as well, because right now you have to kind of go all the way over here and then get back up top, so I might have like a second sort of... Maybe like a little mining uh, like, or scaffolding or something, because we're going to have some... I think they will have some buildings along the side of this wall at some point, so I don't want to go too aggressive with the, uh, the, the, the terraforming on this specific bit. It's more acting as like a place for people to then build off of 
DC that tank will be going. I just want to capture it in schematic first. No problem. It's uh, it's fine where it is right now. It shouldn't be getting in the way. We can put some uh, we'll put something there. Think of something. <laughs> maybe something like nevery, or like maybe selling rocks and stuff. That could be fun. Okay, so up here I want to grab. Let's do a little bit of dirting and grassing up top. Then grab the actual dirt. Be. Would you try survival where you're one block tall? Absolutely. That sounds really fun. I remember I played the Origins mod? Is that what it's called? The one that let you have like you spawned with a randomized origin. And the one I got was Giant, which is quite fun. Having to like be really massive. But one block tall survival does sound quite fun. Okay, uh, let's get in. I want to try, but I couldn't get to work. If you can get to work, I recommend it. It seems it's quite fun. It's simple, but I like it. Thing is, I get like, oh, I want to be like all the origins. They all seem so fun. One block tall survival would be fun as long as you can only jump half a block. Yeah, if you could jump a full block, then that's like, it just means you're kind of getting, you're just really short with no specific negative. <laughs> uh, let's place that up and then bring it back down. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's more of a uh, placeholder for now. Oh my. Drink. Hydration check. Uh, I always want to play Origins of the Inchling. They're the, they're the smallest one, right? Almost like little Smurf. <laughs> I'd make a little like mushroom house out of like probably an actual size mushroom. Imagine like the mansion you could have with a uh, a mushroom house if you're only an inch tall. I don't really care how specific. This bit over here is going to be replaced. So this isn't going to be cliff. I'm going to have the cliff sort of stop here-ish. And then this is going to be like a wooden platform probably because i don't want to have like a weird i don't know just i think it'd look kind of wrong to have a uh just a cliff here i guess i could kind of maybe do one of these pillars like directly here but i'll leave that for now i want to focus on the lower bit Whee. after kieran did that little uh boat ride down here i kind of want to uh actually have a river through there at some point that sounds like it could be quite fun but yeah, I want to get the path in. So let's just go and grab the dirt. Oh my gee, the little seas living in a tiny town with chisel and bits. Chisel and bits would be amazing with uh, the Origins mod. Chisel and bits are one of those mods I refuse to ever have in a mod pack because I will only play with chisel and bits. I would spend uh, far too much time faffing about with it. <laughs> but um. On the server, on Backyard, we've now got, oh, well, we've had the Armistands mod for, or Armistands data pack for a while, but I just wasn't able to use it for some reason. Like, I just, I, I just didn't have the permissions and we weren't exactly sure why, but we've managed to fix it now. I still can't use some of the stuff, like the item frames and stuff, but I can finally play around with Armistands. So, yeah, I, I need to be careful with those because I feel like I could probably, probably get a bit too in the weeds about them, but they seem so fun. It's a shame I can't use uh, invisible armor stands. I guess I could always just ask someone else to come over and just do a few commands for me, but I can make do with just the armor stands. I don't know if is, is wood fine for this. Should I like, transition it to like a different block? I'll keep it as wood for now and just if the vibe changes over time, it's not like we can't just tear it out. It's just a little path. No biggie if it's uh, not permanent. Uh, let's kind of make it a bit more ragged.
I like I quite like just uh, doing some just odd sort of like pathing. It's like pathing is just one of those like things in Minecraft that's just so relaxing to me that I could just like spend hours just sort of like just not mindlessly placing. Like I'm still obviously thinking about what I'm doing, but it's one of those like I don't need to think too hard about it. It's like that perfect level of creative and grind. If Chisel and Bits got added to our mod SMP, I'm going to have to rebuild the entire server. The issue is it's very a laggy mod. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I've not played with it in a while. I might have optimized it quite a bit. But I remember I uh, I did cause some problems on some old modded worlds. Uh, I need more. What's my... What do with my wood? Where's my foot? Oh, here. Yeah. I have to go and grab some more logs, actually. I'm kind of running low. Okay, uh, we'll get in... The logs. Here they are. Is there a rail going down to this part of spawn as well? Yes, there is. Uh, just behind the tower over there is a tunnel that's being made, and I don't know where exactly everything's going to be, but there's going to be a station roughly over there, and a station possibly up there, somewhere on the top. We're going to have like lower spawn and upper spawn, is the idea. I think Kim and Nicole are... Oh, there he is. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Like oh, there. Okay, we're not doing in the wall. That's Yep, okay, that works. That's good. What sort of aesthetic are you going to go for? Like, kind of like deep slatey and stuff. Oh, you actually got the tunnel. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh, actually, I was wanted to ask you, it's uh, Kieran. Uh, could I have a ticket? That goes to my own personal unloading dock, so I can, like, if I bring over, like, a bunch of items, it'll just drop them all up in, like, a big area, like, dedicated to... Yeah, yeah. I mean, for sure. I think, because, right. like, that, that way if I'm, like, bringing in a big amount of items, it doesn't just end up in, like, the main area. Oh, you mean, up. like, in, to, in spawn? Yeah, yeah, so, like... Yeah, yeah, I mean, that would just be a, a simple T-junction, right? That's it, that's, 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 that's why I want somewhere set aside, just so I can have, do you like... Want, um, do you want you to go with the items, or do you want the items to go to their own place? Items on their own. Uh, and, and then you to the station. And me to the station, and the items just automatically yeah. get unloaded into, like, chests or something. Yeah, I mean, we should probably add it um, after the fact. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and you and I can figure out the redstone there. Yeah. Just, I, yeah, I thought I'd just mention it before you started. Yeah, working. it'll just be a simple T-junction, yeah. that's Because I'm going to be mainly shipping a lot of items here, and I don't want to be taking up the uh, platforms. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yes. Uh, Crispy says, my son keeps saying in the... Oh, you, I, I'm the king of pathing, but I learned how to do it for the first time when I just spawned with him. Yeah, I, I really like the paths that spawn. They're really fun. I do like how pathing brings, but yeah, it's, I think half of, like, even more than half of building, like, everyone gets so focused on the sort of, the, um, the buildings and stu structures, but, like, the structure to me is, like, 20% of the thing, <laughs> like, most of it is about how it interacts with the environment, like, I think this building would be way worse if it was just the building and not any of the terraforming around it, like, this makes it feel like it's meant to be there. And the biggest cheat code for that is trees. Just put some trees around. Uh, Twins said, I guess, typically UK station naming upper slash lower enter name here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> We've got some more fancy names for some of the rails and stuff. But, uh, no, I admit, lower spawn and upper spawn isn't exactly the most creative ones we have. <laughs> Do like a stair here just to kind of. In I like using stairs just to sort of like give more of a like flatness to it. Like it's, I think it's just a nice little way of sort of. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I don't know if I like this poking through. 
I wonder if Lewis, Ben, and Andrew have names for their places, actually. I doubt Lewis does, but I'd imagine Andrew and uh, Ben probably could come up with something quite quickly. I don't know if Lewis has, like, a... Lewis has... Did Lewis have an actual, like, plan for his base, or is it just sort of, like, lots of fun little buildings and stuff? Like, is he, is he planning on making a village, or is it more of just, like, a house? I don't really know what his uh, end goal is. I know he's in that village next to him, though, which is nice. So the village is kind of separate to the house, right? So he's like living on a manor up in the hill. <laughs> Might do a little tour of that area later because I think the uh, the bridge loop is now finished. So we've got a nice new section uh, to show the veil. We said about Mushroom House earlier. I just remember the, the name of Mushroom Town me and Cole made. Fairwater, that's a nice name for a Mushroom Town. I just love Mushroom Towns. I plan on making a Mushroom Town somewhere on this server. I know that we just did the... Cause like, So, on my previous SMP, we I had a like fairy village. Actually, I think I have ch videos on the channel still of it. Um, but I never finished it. And I want to give it another go, because I really like the palette and stuff. I want to see how I could do it now, after like a few years of improving. Oh, Firewater. I like both the names, actually, but I think Firewater's better. Nicole's Mushroom Town is Hyloden. It's inspired by the scientific for white tree frogs and certain mushroom species. Ooh. Uh, Froglin is called Froglin because uh, it's frogs. Litterfall is called Litterfall because there's Litterfall on the floor. <laughs> That's my naming convention. Alex is a bit scientific. It's based on like a part of a flower, but it's still not exactly. Uh... Gloomvale Hamlet is pretty self-explanatory too. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a like free adject or free nouns, isn't it? Well, adjective nouns, whatever. We've got an area on the server that's going to be called Pine Water, which is quite cool. I like that name. It's a bit steep this bit, but I think it should be fine. I don't like. I think I need to tone down the sides a bit. I don't think it should be breaching the wall. Pine Water Wales, my next project. Nice. Which way does Pine Water go? Is that towards the southwest? I vaguely remember it being that way. <laughs> Make another mushroom town for a joke called Near Water. <laughs> you should have. I like that. Link to the stronghold, though, that's it, yeah. I don't like when torches, like, you can see the smoke through the floor. I just, I just, I hate that. Something about it just bugs the life out of me. What biome is our stronghold in? Because I want to, I want to actually make, like, an actual proper, like, stronghold building. I've never done that before. And I want to know what kind of stony shore. Hmm. Not exactly the most inspiring biome. <laughs> I've never actually really done like a end. It, it's cool having like a build that that's focused around something you can't move. I think like that's just a really fun like building challenge. An abandoned coastal ruins ideal. I want to do more builds that like I kind of focus around a specific point that I like I, I that's the point is non-negotiable I just have to figure out a way of making it look good I think that's just a fun little thing to work with I think about doing some like building challenge videos where like, I just have a I'm, I'm given a plot with like a, a thing or I give a few people a plot of just a thing and everyone has to sort of interpret it in their own way I don't, it's, it's kind of like they're there, like, when you do, like, those squiggle drawings where, like, someone just squiggles their pen over the page, and you have to, like, try and turn it into, like, a character or something. All right, finish my bread. Typing should go better now. <laughs> bread consumed. Typing resumed. I didn't mean that, I didn't mean that to rhyme, but I'll take it. I gave you all the plot my base, but no. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I completely forgot. We should do that on stream sometime. That'd be fun. Yeah, Kieran made like a, a bedroom almost for everyone at his base. 
and I need to make a design for it. My base is bare bones, though. Yeah, it's it's a work in progress, but you've been so busy on everything else on the server, you've not had time to work on your base. <laughs> I need to actually work on my base on Backyard more. I've not really touched it in a while. Late bread dinner. Is it just bread you were eating? Like, only bread? It's a bit like the dock in the backyard, kind of. Oh, like, just having, like, plots. I kind of like just having plots for stuff, you know? Like, if you make a bunch of paths and then say, okay, so you, someone's allowed to build in this bit, someone's allowed to build in this bit, it really forces the hand somewhat, and you get some really cool stuff out of it. I've worked on my base more in the last month than at all in the last year. Yeah. <laughs> I genuinely don't remember the last time I actually worked on stuff. I guess actually I did the uh, the 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 Shulker storage room in Stockholm. So I've, I've done a little bit, but uh, it's not been exactly my most productive area. Oh, yeah, you've got loads of farms, don't you? I need to actually make some more farms. <laughs> all I have is flowers. All I make is flour. So I don't make flour, but... You know. Okay, Ugh, God, this is such a long, such a long stretch. <laughs> I might start putting in some like lanterns and stuff on the side. Oh, I just an idea. What if we had some like trees that kind of like are poking out the side of the hill and come up the side? I just looked over at the spawn tree, and like imagine like a tree sort of like uh, kind of like a bit willowy with like hanging leaves and stuff. Oh, that could be fun. I say that was absolutely zero skills in making something like that, but hey, one can dream. Just a small baguette, a waffle, and a chocolate bread thing. <laughs> Wait, it's not just one piece of bread, it was multiple types of bread? Heck yeah, living the dream. <laughs> oh, I love waffles. Cherry Bakewells or Belgian buns? I don't know what a Belgian bun is, actually. Is that a regional name for something? Belgian bun. Oh, that oh that's a Belgian bun. Okay, uh, probably that. I don't really like raisins or dried fruit that much. I just didn't know they were called that. <laughs> I've seen them though. My favorite is cinnamon buns. I love cinnamon buns. I've set up something in honor of trains, as in the person. Where, where, where have you set it up? Oh, well. <clears throat> well, I haven't spoke for a while. It's not much. Um, oh, God, I'm hearing myself. Hold on. I need to mute the stream. <laughs> now, when when we do the trip later, um, we'll, you'll see. Okay. So that's a that's a surprise gift for later trains. <laughs> Have you had the cinnamon cake from Costco? I don't think so. I need to unroll them. Oh yeah, that's like the that, that's a good way of doing it. Well, that's a, I like doing that with the cinnamon swirls with the cinnamon buns. I like just sort of uh, like fork and knife, knife and fork. What do you do? I don't know. Uh, I would say fork and knife. I shouldn't say that. Um, what did he do? Oh, he's got yeah, he's got a little uh, little gift. For you somewhere on the server, whatever that entails. Oh god, that horn. Uh, okay, I need lanterns and what well, the fences? So just grab this. I'm running low on lanterns. I have to do a restock. I love how far you can hear the horns. I think it's like 128 blocks or something. It's absolutely nuts. Let me switch that out there. I think they're not lanterns. I think uh, goat horns are so fun. I'm I'm kind of sad they didn't include the um, they didn't add copper horns. Why why did they not? Is was there like a given reason why they didn't add them? Gonna look on lower spawn TJ uh, T junction, but brain is heavy tonight. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think the horns are a good. Oh, fantastic edition! I love it. 
Copper horns were kind of poopy, not gonna lie. I, I don't even remember like what they sounded like or anything. All I know is that they just didn't add them. Great if you could play the instrument rather than the preset songs. That'd be cool. Imagine if you had, like, could like make your own songs and stuff out of like the goat horns. That'd be so sick. It was fancier sound effects. Oh, okay. I have to get you to listen to it again because I don't remember. Might have been for a good reason. Who knows? Yeah, I, I just can't remember at all. Like, it's one of those things that like they just straight up said, "Oh, we're not adding them," which they don't really do very often. But unlike fireflies, no one seemed to care because it was copper horns, which I think is really funny. <laughs> I don't remember there ever being any backlash about it. They should repurpose them for drinking horns. Could hold three potions. Put a brewing stand instead of three bowls. Yeah, that'd be cool. You can make them higher and deeper pitch. Oh, yeah, I, I'm vaguely remembering it now. Hey, some bone meal. Uh, so, like, depending on how you, like, had your camera angled, is it, is it like the loot in uh, Mordhau? Yeah. <laughs> you know that if they added those, there'd be so many videos of, like, playing Megalovania in Minecraft using copper horns. They were finished and everything. It's a very, it's very strange. I don't know why they did it. It's either one of those things like why, why not have them? Even if they're not great, it's right. It'd be better to have them in the game. Cooldown ruined it. Yeah, there's no reason to have a cooldown with it if you're going to be doing that. I'm gonna do like just vague grassing for now, and we can maybe add some like stuff later. Actually, beside my, was my two pixel fire flash. <laughs> The two pixel fireflies is so funny to me. I absolutely, I'm, I'm so devastated they weren't added because like it's just they're so cute. Like you can add so much personality to them when they're literally just two pixels. <laughs> I don't know why they were so funny. Uh, I don't know what you want to do up here, Kieran. If you want to connect this up to like this bit and hole in the wall, I'll uh, I'll leave that up to you. Okay, that should do for now. Uh, like flowers and stuff, just around willy nilly. I need to add some more like variation to this because it's looking very flat. I need to add some like more trap doors and maybe also some strip logs. But I need to empty out my inventory because for some reason I just made so many slabs. So many more than I ever needed. Actually, I can put them in here. Keep some. The coppers fell out the the developers fell out of the idea for copper horns. It Says basic right, okay. That's fine. Like I guess you don't have to have every idea ever. It just seems like if they already existed and be like we're we're ready, I guess. Ah, you never know when when they say ready. Cece, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Thank you. Let's just kind of like go around adding in some extra bits and pieces, add in some trapdoors. It's poisonous to frogs. Yeah, it's the thing is like the last time they had that happen was like they, they had they made it so like because like they had the, the poly one a cracker achievement where you gave like a a bird a cookie and like but in real life they could like chocolate's bad for them. So, like, they made it so if you give them a cookie instead, they will, you know, uh, burst. Yeah, it's like, I don't know why they don't, like, surely having it, like, as a feature where, like, if a firefly does get eaten, there's, like, a chance. Maybe if they made it so, like, because, like, it's not, like, all frogs. Like, it's, it's not, like, it's poisonous to all frogs. It's just some frogs. So what if they made it so, like, only, like, the hot frogs would die if they ate them, while, like, the other ones were more resilient. <laughs> and also, like, I just question, like, so what if they're, like, poisonous? It's like, what kid is gonna be, like, firstly, what kid's gonna get a frog? 
And then what kid is going to feed a frog a firefly of all things? It's such, a, it's such a weird one. I don't know. I think they just couldn't get them to work the way they wanted them, and they just used that air poison as an excuse. <laughs> CC, believe me, they would. All right, I guess uh, <laughs> you have probably have more uh, experience with that, actually. Uh. <laughs> You never know with a kid, actually. That's fair enough. Yeah, I want to get some campfires in here, too. Someone mentioned that. I thought you meant, like, burning ones, but... Oh, it's long past Peter doing anything. <laughs> Peter, has, Peter has no credibility anymore. Uh, at least not, like, in terms of social stuff. Change that fact was a good thing doesn't mean they shouldn't be added though. Yeah, because obviously they want they want Minecraft to be more educational and stuff. Probably just because like, they didn't have a use for them anymore. Yeah, I think that's genuinely the reason. Like it just seems like one of those things where like they probably just didn't think it was worth if there was an issue. You know, those trapdoors on the floor in in connection to the empty cliffs would make some very good secret bases. <laughs> yeah, it probably would actually. Uh, stop off some bone meal. You always gag way too much. They'll probably make them into like something. I think they should make never fireflies, like lava flies or something. Uh, campfires. Where are my campfires? Here? No. Ah, here. Make them alien, so they're like they're not like a direct thing for real life. You can't have problems if they don't exist. <laughs> I still feel like they could have made a better way to get fog lights as well, because they originally wanted fireflies for that. Oh yeah, was was that the original reason for them? I kind of like the way that fog lights work. It's a very specific mechanic. Like, it's, there's something really weird about it, which I really like. It's one of those things that people won't really do. Which I think is interesting. Yeah, if you want to go higher, you need to go out the door. Yeah, yeah, I remember they made like, the funky way out. Oh, oh. Hello there. spying on us. Hello. Ah. Yeah. Run away. So mean to me. <laughs> That's looking a lot better. I like this a lot. I think also like it makes a bit more sense with magma cubes since frogs already eat slimes. So like I guess it's like it's not big of a leap to think if they ate a magma cube, like they would if they saw a magma cube they'd try and eat it. Which I think is at least neat. Oh, it's annoying that you can see through the bottom. Just there we go. <laughs> Don't want too many of these. <laughs> leap. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's wrong. And we'll do like maybe one up here. Do that. And we'll do one more. One more for good luck. Why not? Oops. Oop. Stout. Okay, uh, anything I want to work on now? Because I think this is pretty much what I want for now. Maybe do some work around the waterfall, but I think I want to leave that. For a bit, we'll do something else around here. I might actually, I might go ahead with my head to my base, do a restock on all my boxes because they're getting a little bit low. Hello, hello there. Hey, just watching the stream live. Thanks, dude. Number one fan. Yeah, none of you in chat are right here right now, right? <laughs> yeah. None of you can <laughs> just <laughs> bump into me. Let's go head back to. So if you can ruin the stream by blaring goat horns. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check these in here. Let's just grab all the boxes and just chuck them back in my chest, and we can go and do a quick restock. There we go. Okay, and these ones here are just kind of specifically for this area, so they can stay for now. 
Got these two. Do a little sleepy. I can make him. Oh, I need. I, I forgot to include that clip. Actually, I might include that next episode. <laughs> you understand that these have been a challenge, right? Uh, I don't like that. Okay, let's go. This one. I mean, my base. Style still playing. <laughs> Really, really disorienting. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I think you should make a house off stream and on stream bring some people over to find re hidden redstone doors, mechanics, or like a little like trap house almost. There's like loads of little secrets and stuff. Um, hello. That was rather alarming. You uh, you 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 okay in here, bud? I to get out, but he's too tall. <laughs> Go that way. <laughs> <laughs> that, really, that really threw me off. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, uh... The heck? Ha ha what? How? But how, though? <laughs> I want it to be more surprising, but the Enderman kind of beat me to it, so <laughs> never mind. Yeah, Kieran's, Kieran's a, my, my, my creepy stalker. How dare you. Uh, okay. Grab Wally. Uh, Lighties, furniture. Blah, blah, well done. Bloop, go up to there. Okay. So, furniture one. Two. Uh, to have brain fog. Yeah, for, you get like everyone gets like that sometimes. It's just a uh, plotter, I guess. Really, just kind of like do like some mindless tasks, like sorting or something. Maybe that's how I like to get out of my brain fogs. Uh, plant. This one. This is lumber soil box. So dirt. The one thing I don't need to suggest. <laughs> that's fair enough. <laughs> I guess that's not as. See, see, like, blit, 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 blit. <laughs> like, I get like a new sort of like. Uh, uh. It's too fun to the pass. Okay, then we got bricks one, two, and wallets. It's been a while since I've been here, I've forgotten where everything goes. Really? I should have like two sets of boxes. And like, I can swap them out, but that sounds like a lot of work. Uh, ocean alien. It's that one and that one. This, this is the ocean. Can't I have I a sword for every recyclable item from? Right, yes, of course. Yeah, you, you, I guess you don't have to do sorting, do you? <laughs> right, you're jamming. I just jam. I'm vibing. I like how my I, I can I can actually zoom. Like out, or I guess yeah, like so. Damn, <laughs> I don't know why I'd ever need this, but I go down, down. <laughs> How far can I go? Oh, down. <laughs> can I go any further? No, it's the max. Why would I want this? How do I need to fix this one sec? Oh, oh lord, what have I done? I've done something. Uh, FOP to zero. Let's just say max zoom. I'm going to go 30, really. DC, we're good to go from Stockholm when we do our trip. I was going to do lower spawn, but too brain dead to have made it. Yeah, we can do that. We can, if you want to set up the tickets, we can uh, do a little trip over to the area you want to show me. We've got dies. One. Two. I don't think I've got anything in there, so let's leave these to restock. Uh, just gonna put. This, I'll organize. Nope, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be sensible and actually do some organizing. In fact, when I do a full rail tour, how uh, people in chat sound about a full rail tour? I want to see a bit of a, bit of a longer journey today. Is 
Sounds good. I've not really shown off too much of the uh, rail recently, so there's probably some dramatic changes, especially in the southern areas. I think it's also really fit for a vid, though. I could always just record it as well. It's maybe the first time I use my A level and use of maths for these paths. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh god, this 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 box is a nightmare. Um. Okay, that, I know I, I could deal with this one. That goes there. Yeah, I think it's enough sorting for the day. Let's go do something else. <laughs> Did someone say bait, fluffle bait? Oh my god, yes. I work on the root joke come over to help me plan. Okay, while you guys are doing that, I'm just gonna try and figure out my uh my storage situation. <laughs> oh god, let's just grab everything. Yeah, in a minute. Oh, he's upstairs. <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> God, I've got a roommate. Oh, wow. I need to. Yeah, I don't have enough storage. I need to go grab a shulker box. Oh, God. Trains wants more bread. I just realized. <laughs> no more bread trains. Are your chests connected to an order sorter or do you have to do it all manually? Uh, for this area, it's manual. Some of my places have sorters, though. I my my next big project is gonna be a like storage hub. So yeah, this is kind of my like this is technically my starter base. So like it's uh it's not exactly meant to be super optimal. I admit it's it gets a bit tedious after a while. I think it's too spread out. I need it to I need it to be more densely packed. But it's more of an experiment with trying out different ways of handling my uh my inventory. I think like storage is one of those things that's just really fun to try and engage with in Minecraft. <clears throat> DC sorting be like confuse, confuse, and confusion. I know where everything is vaguely. I don't have buildings for everything just yet. Like some of this stuff, I just kind of compost because <laughs> I don't care enough. Like that can go in there. I don't have a place for leather yet, but obsidian I do. Hello. Oh, hello. I should have obsidian somewhere. Wait, do I not have obsidian? Uh oh. Okay, well, I, I don't. I don't have a spot for obsidian. Never mind. <laughs> I need to organize this. Remember that like uh, redstone that I did ages ago on stream about like the storage like request system. Well, that's basically what my next big project is going to be for the server. But I'm a bit of a ways off of that. Hello. So what do okay, you want so me to plan and whatnot? Do you want, do you want to come into Discord? I'll just uh... wait. Uh, oh, yeah. Hello. Hi. Oh, Discord? I'm gonna be lazy. Oh yeah, that'd be easy. I'm gonna be lazy. Do 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 do. I will DM with details about the bakery. Yes. Hello. Da 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 da. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just being quite naughty. Do 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 do. Some of this stuff I can saw actually. Yes, I remember that stream. I want to I do some more with that. Because that's like the main concept. Because I want to have sort of... Where was it? The day? It was a day. Was, it? was that your first stream? I like that stream. Uh, it's, it's, it's dangerous to do redstone on stream because it will usually go wrong. Um, <laughs> and it, it, it didn't actually go that terribly. It went weirdly well until it didn't. Let's see. Find the way instantly. You got. You, you got to keep up with me. You know. That's actually meant to be separate. Okay, wool goes down here. Like this. This building down here is actually auto sorted. Like there is the wool does get automatically put into the correct barrels. But like that's the only auto sorter in the entirety of Stockholm, except from like farms, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, but the thing is, when I built this base, I wasn't a redstoner. Like that's like. The the rail video is kind of what I'm known for now, or like what, what a lot of people have subscribed for, but that isn't really my usual style of red. Or like, or it wasn't my style. We're cutting off the granite route, but show it in free cam, please. That's the uh, the one that goes to the jungle, right? Can do. 
Um, okay, I want to... Dipstone. My brain is foggy myself right now. <laughs> I think I might just go compost some of this stuff. But no, no, redstone isn't really something I got into until like a couple of years ago. I, I, I knew the basics and all that jazz, but the rails really kind of what brought me into being a quote unquote redstoner. Wait, Cece, are you in the right skin? I'm not. I'm in my backyard skin. One sec. But you just change this. <laughs> good, good shout. Should we go for? We're going on a train ride, so we should go with the train skin. But you just restart. There we go. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, honey goes in here, buttons go in here. Flint, the multiverse is connecting. <laughs> oh no. The parallel CC. <laughs> I like just walking around this place. It's super fun because like I've I intentionally designed all the buildings to be like completely interconnected and interwoven and it's like there's basically no dead ends in this entire base, which I absolutely love. Like no matter where you are, it keeps going. I'm starting to think CC is for, in fact canonically interested in trains. Now I think the reason for that is on account of my autism. <laughs> Something about being autistic just makes you fascinated with trains. It's it's a fact. <laughs> Into the CC verse. God, that's, that sounds scary. <laughs> do, 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 like, oh, it's, it's so fun to just wander. <laughs> All right, fair point there. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't Minecraft that got me interested in trains. I've I've always kind of liked trains. I think they're just super neat. Uh oh, he likes. Tra I like trains. I want to go check on my farms. I've not really been over this way for a bit. I bet they're all broken. If I played one world long enough and have a base like this, I'd have a giant underground railway slash hopper chain to put all items in the right buildings. Yeah, it's it's really hard to get, like, I'd have to do, like, sorting underground and then have them, like, funneled up to the correct places, which could be kind of fun. But trying to make it natural would be very difficult. So instead, I'm going to have, like, a big... Uh, where Why is there dark oak saplings in here? I'm going to have, like, a big item depot where it kind of like transports all the items to like a specific point. It'd be really cool if I could have it so it goes anywhere on the server, but that would require chunk loading and I just don't think I'm gonna bother. Yeah, all my farms are broken. This, this looks like it's broken. Yeah, they're all filled with honey and there's a hole in the wall. Cool. Uh, what, what else we what got over here? This is my wheat farm. Uh. The guy is dead, so this is broken. <laughs> uh, what's over here? This is my uh, sheepy farm. They have wool, but the dirt is eaten, which means that the shears are broken. So, this is broken. <laughs> then we've got my... My, uh, my villager... Farm over here. There's currently an iron golem. Two iron golems. Oh, he's alive. Is this for? Is this working? This might actually be functional. Oh well, one of the pods is this one. This guy's dead. Uh, this guy's dead. You're alive. Because he says, "What my other friend with autism who likes trains said that that might be the fact that trains are predictable but complex and also just cool." Yeah, I think it's just also like. Move, big moving mechanical stuff is just fun and like it being on track is super interesting it's like it's forward or backwards there's no like human error but well, there is human error okay so the carrot farm is still functional the other ones seem broken <laughs> wait is the guy in the middle alive if the guy in the middle isn't alive then then it is broken <laughs> okay he's alive he survived he survived this place being struck by lightning so that guy's a legend uh, we also got the, the house over here with loads of villagers in. I think this this used to be like an unintentional iron farm, but I think I put a... Yeah, I put an iron golem down here. 
so they always think they have one, so they don't keep spawning like infinite amounts of them. <laughs> uh, oh, there's actually a farm over here. I have not been in this building in ages. I completely forgot about this place. This one's working. How long have these guys been here? Because they all like have items on. Uh, it's... No, this is broken. The items don't go anywhere. <laughs> Did, this, did I never finish this place? Nope, I just, it just doesn't go anywhere at all. It never worked in the first place. <laughs> oh my god. What is wrong with me? Don't answer that. Alright, uh... Does anything on the server work? Calyx is still mostly functional. My moss farm is broken, so... Uh, don't talk about that one. Any other farms? Oh yeah, my netherite thing. My netherite machine. I think you can take a quick guess as to whether this is functional or not. Uh, it's sad that Moyang really wanted to add a new golem and everyone was like, no. Yeah, they <laughs> multiple times they said, look at this golem, and everyone was like, look at the other stuff. CC's farms are not FDA approved. Can confirm. Hey, this farm still works. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do I not have Silk Touch? I don't have Silk Touch. Weird. We have one farm that's functional. Oh wait, actually I've got these farms down here. I have a pumpkin and sugarcane farm. Does this, does this still work? Oh, it's working. I think it's working. Yeah. This bit working? Yeah. Is this working? Because this breaks often. For some reason. I don't know how a sugarcane farm breaks, but I've managed it. You managed to straight me off your trail by switching streams mid-flow, but I managed to track you down. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I had some... I tried sorting out my latency and it just crashed the stream, so I had to make a new one. It's annoying that, like, if a stream crashes, you can't just, like, restart it on the same one. You have to, like, basically just go... Start from scratch. They're not here. Where are they? <laughs> down past Fennec or down past Litterfall onto Big Stone Rail. Uh, Litterfall. <laughs> Earth Golem and Copper Golem are short friends. Short kings. Okay, let's go check my boxes downstairs. Just while I'm uh, killing some time. Ow. Okay, that needs to be stocked up. Am I out of iron? Yes. I think... I, th I always forget about snow golem. Poor snow golem. Honey and copper. How many uh, copper things are there? I might start like thinking about how I'm going to plan this uh, shulker box. Wait, you took all this in here. Because this is going to be specifically a copper box. So I might just do it all like all oxidized copper at the top. All wax at the bottom and maybe just some random components in the middle. Copper trap doors I'd probably keep in here separate because copper trap doors are very expensive and I don't want to be crafting them on the fly. But like oxidized cut copper seems like it'd be more efficient to just store in like the actual full block form. Uh, train said, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Well, according to Australians and people from New Zealand, your autism costs too much money and you're not allowed to move to said countries in auto. Wait, really? Is that true? Uh, do me and my friend made turrets by placing like 10 snow golems in one area. You need to sift. Just. <laughs> Hello. Let me drop my stuff off. <laughs> do snow golems even do damage? Like, I, that's the bit I've always been confused by. Like, I generally don't know if they do damage or not.
Did I do this backwards? Uh, purple terracotta, magenta. Oh, that's that is correct. This doesn't look right. I think it's because that is like a light blue, and then that goes to being like a purple. You know? Okay. Hello, CC. Howdy. Um, we're gonna have to cut out the spawn bridge, but I feel like we see spawn enough, right? Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, I need to make a quick loop at my base, and I'll be back. Basically, I've made tickets for every junction, but mm -hmm. they won't all be used because I just don't know which are the defaults at the moment. Right, fair enough. Yeah, we um, should really keep that tracked on the map somewhere. Yeah, I'll send you the tickets uh, while I go fix my rail. You send me the tickets? I was like, you make a list of them. Yeah, we've now, we've now gone digital CC. He's going to get you a QR code for your ticket. So did my <laughs> Discord crash? Are we not in chat anymore? No, no, you, you, yeah, you just left the Discord. Oh, I think it crashed. Oh. <laughs> Bin box. Yeah. Check that in there. Okay. Kieran has sent me a list of every ticket we'll need on our journey. So we can do a little demonstration of how we do our new ticket system. Because we have actually changed uh, it since the video. But I need some just paper. Might want to double check. Well, really, shouldn't the... I'll tell you, make it... Yeah. Okay, I need some anvils, actually, because I probably don't have enough. It's going to break, I think. <laughs> oh, it's downstairs. Yeah, paper in the station. Yeah, I know. I was just looking for... I don't know why I was looking for anvils in there. Wait, Look at that. To be over here. Actually, I want to grab my boxes. I think I'm either done filling now. Yeah, I just think it's going to... It looks like it's going to break us. <laughs> uh, Wally, furniture, the, uh, let's see if I can remember the order. I have like a specific order I like. I think it's this. Uh, lumber, soil, rocks, bricks, bricks, uh, ocean, alien, one, two, diables. Yeah. There's one here. Okay, so basically the way we do tickets now is... We have, we've named every single rail, so the rail going across my base is called Pumpkin, while the rail going towards Calyx is called Valley. So basically the way we have it set up is that you put the tickets as being the rail you're coming from, and then the rail you're going to. So in this case we're going from the Pumpkin Rail onto the Valley Rail, so the ticket is Pumpkin Valley. And then also later on we'll be doing Blossom Ridge. We'll be doing... Uh, coast berry, and from this point on, it's probably going to be just following sort of like. So we go from coast onto berry, then we go from berry onto podzol, and then podzol onto breach, uh, and then you got breach onto beach. <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, uh, Chain says, anyway, he's coming into my station. I'll be back in like 15 minutes. I'm so still wondering what Kieran has to show me or something. Uh, I don't know when it'll be. We'll see. <laughs> you put puzzle, did I? Oh, he did. Oops. This is why we didn't have like selection, large amounts of tickets. I really should be doing these in full stack, shouldn't I? Too late. Uh, Yeah, this, did I do Breach Beach? Yeah, I did Breach Beach. Then we've got Forest Arch. Then we've got Arch. Oh, that's nice, brother. Nope. Arch Rickety. <laughs> this one's funny. Rickety Christmas. <laughs> and then you've got Christmas Coal, which is also quite a funny one. This will be automated for locations, but tours are customizable. Yeah, basically. But like we'll we'll make like a map that you can just like reference and get like okay you need exactly this one to do this specific. But right now we're kind of in like a transition phase between rails. Like we've changed how some of them are organized. Iron 
pumpkin. That'd hurt your teeth. And the final one is just Stockholm, because that's where we're gonna we're gonna come back here at the end. Okay. Not only the necessary, I just didn't know that. Yeah. So this is the maximum tickets. There's a torch underneath this trap door and the trap door now. <laughs> now I can't put the torch. What are you done? Okay, uh, fine. Got it. And I'm just underneath. Blah. Do you want to just double check those tickets just to be safe? <laughs> I can't. Joe, where you at? <laughs> where, have you, where have you gone? How have you ended up down there? <laughs> Zizi, I'm going to mute your stream Come if you back. don't mind speaking through uh, voice yeah. chat. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Hello. All right, guys, before we go, I have something. Mm -hmm. Bread. No. Oh. Train bread. <laughs> this is like, right. why have we got train bread? It's the it's it's signature food of the, uh, the, the, the fail network. Uh... So we're not Minecraft. seeing every rail, but we should Ooh. be seeing some of the nicer ones, hopefully. Uh, which spot do you want? Uh, I'll go and... We sh definitely shouldn't have an empty minecart, by the way. Oh, I didn't realize there's an extra. Yeah. I'll be okay. this one. Alright. Are the tickets in? Yeah, tickets are in. Three, cool. two, one. Boop. Off we go. Nom, 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 nom. I hope this works. <laughs> Did you just eat a pumpkin pie and not the train bread I supplied? Whoops. <laughs> I'll save it for later. <laughs> okay, so this one should take us over to Valley. This is what I've been working on recently. This is quite fun in free cam, actually. Yeah, I really <laughs> like watching it in free cam. Choo -choo. Oh, wait. When we're in free cam, I can't actually hear you guys. Kieran, I know what's happening right now. You, you grabbed out the goat. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I should have got my other goat horns out. I have them all in my ender chest. Oh, Lord. Let's see if I can place it quick enough. Nah. That's uh, not going to happen. So, yeah, you're gonna, Kieran, I think you need to lose more under chests. <laughs> Bro, I have 56 on me. I think we're good. Hello, Beacon. I on your left, you'll see. Still there on the beacon. <laughs> on the left, you'll see TNT. Oh, scary. And then we got the big rail here. Oh, this bridge is nice. I didn't see this one. I think maybe we should I go into a group. It being offset. Just because if I'm in free cam, I can't actually hear you guys. Oh, that corner's still janky. <laughs> Join the group. I don't know how to join a group, do you, Joe? I'll just leave the- I'll join Discord. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just figured Discord. it out. I just figured it out. You figured it out? <laughs> I'll join Discord. That'd be easier. Hello. I hope everyone can still hear you. <laughs> yeah, it'll be the- it'll be the fishing village just down here. Seen lots of this on stream. <laughs> Cinematic. Ian seems to be struggling to join Discord. <laughs> oh, cool. Hello, there you are. <laughs> okay, this is roughly where my uh, my storage uh, depot is going to be. We'll. Yes. We can't you can't hear them? SB says you can't hear them. Second. Uh okay, we'll do group. V G's Oh yes, yeah, G's default. Technical difficulties, technical difficulties. Hello? 
Wait, I'm still on push to talk, damn it. Hello. Uh, Yay! Oh yeah, oh, yeah that, that works fine, doesn't it? Can everyone, yeah. can everyone hear them now? <laughs> I mean, we're right next to each other anyway, and we're not gonna deviate. No, it's when I go into free cam mode, I can't hear you guys. Oh, oh really? that makes sense. Oh, yeah, it's, got, it's based wait, on... You got, wait, have you got... Well, it, depend, it depends what your settings are, because my sounds are set to based on my player, not based on my free cam. Oh, is there a way you can, do, you can change oh. that? Yeah, you, it's in your free cam settings. Oh, I'm gonna do that, not, uh, your audio is based on your player's position or your character. I'm going to change that because I, I hate it being based on the camera. <laughs> see, see, I do like this wheat farm a lot, but God, it really shows off Minecraft's chunk system. What do you mean? Because <laughs> like, <half laughs> like half of it is grown. Uh, no, the reason it's like that is because uh, I only I only harvested half of it. Oh, okay. My bad. Yeah, okay it's enough. too big to harvest all at once. <laughs> So yeah, we opted to not go down granite because there's nothing down there yet. Yeah, I'll do a little free really cam of it. Okay, so yeah. we're going through Calyx. I love to see you go through the uh, station like that. I think it's just really... Yeah, I'm looking forward to you doing litter fall like that. Yeah, it's going to completely gut litter fall and just basically do it again because the redstone there is atrocious. We need to fix Fennec as well, by the way. Assuming we're not going to Froglin' either. So over here is granite. This goes all the way to the north uh, and the uh, uh, west, doesn't it? Go straight to the west and then straight north. They've got a jungle, a mesa, and like desert over there. And then just over this way is uh, Falkland. Over there, my little swamp town. I don't, I don't know what to do about this bit of rail specifically here. I think, I think uh, it's just It's just a bit of a Nicole weird. she has some ideas if if we have areas that we don't know what to do with. So yeah. I'll just sort of leave it open there, maybe. I'll just put something there temporarily. And this cave, you had something planned for this cave, didn't you? Me? Yeah. Oh, I was going to put the encoding system along it, but right. for, for style, I don't know. Right, okay. I think my dolphin um, moistener is still along here. Yeah, there's still some water along the way. <laughs> <laughs> I should remove that. I appreciate the fact that you just called it. Dolphin moistener, as opposed yeah. to just water I mean, on the, the rail. The the tag to determine if they've been outside of water for too long is called is moist. So <laughs> yeah. lovely. Oh, there it is. Def definitely your mum's favourite word. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the oh, so, big so bridge. This... Sorry, sissy. Oh, I love this bridge. It's okay. great. Yeah. D it it took me less time than it really should have. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. Button time. Who can press the most buttons? Oh, God. Well, if I, if I press them, you guys can't press them. <laughs> oh, is there a minigame on here? Yeah, there's I'm, like a, I'm gonna like a... redstone it up if CC doesn't mind. I don't mind, you can do what you want. There's not much space for redstone. No, oh, not that one. It's like little, uh, two. little pebbles. And I've lost <laughs> count already. I wasn't paying attention. God, I, you guys are perfectly spaced apart where they come back up for Joe, but not for me. Yeah. I've not got any yet. Uh -huh. I've got six. I have not been paying attention. I've not been counting, I mean. <laughs> Eight. Uh, uh, no, I missed one. One. Yeah, this is actually quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is really infuriating. Two. They're too small. <laughs> Uh, it's also like a, a rail with like target blocks along it, and you're gonna shoot them. Kind of like the Gore Hunt City mini game. <laughs> Three. Okay, then we're going up to this corner over here. Is gonna be a T junction or roundabout? Is it? Uh, it's going to be a roundabout because roundabout. you wanted to, a rail north, yeah. Oh yeah, that's this is where that is gonna be. And yeah. then there's one that goes to Hyla Den as well. So should we do it on like this corner here? Like, um, make a tower yes, there. Or something? Yeah, it's this this corner right here. Yeah, because it's gonna plunge into the ocean. Oh, another dolphin moistener. <laughs> this bit was actually the most annoying part of Rails of the Mate because I think it's like it's so short that it had to like adjust mm. the design constantly. It's nice. But it's still, I think it came out good. I just had to make sure there's like different ways you can actually get through. It's the thing, I don't want to make a big wall that yeah. blocks off. Yeah. Uh, I've mostly lit this area up, not really. 
Actually, I've, I lit the veil up. I've not lit up around the surroundings, yeah, so we may get shot. Yeah, there are certain spaces that are still a bit dangerous. We may get uh, a bit shot at here, so <laughs> keep your eyes out. <laughs> How many mobs can you shoot? Yeah. That make like a just tiny bit little anticlimactic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming we're gonna be going left from here. Oh. Yes. Shots so fired. Should shots be. fired. Oh, he actually shot you, Joe. Whoa, Probably Sumi! What are you doing? Are you, what are you doing, Sumi? <laughs> He's just running on my desk like a madman. Yeah, we should be going left if everything's done correctly. I'm sure something's gonna mess up. I'm sure I've forgotten <laughs> the name of something. But yeah, we'll there's, there's, we'll, we'll magical mystery tour. Yeah. What are you gonna do with this tunnel? Uh, I'm gonna make it into like sort of like a mine shaft, probably. Nice. That's what I've done like one too many times, I think, with some of the rails <laughs> I've made. I'm gonna make hey, it into like yeah, a terracotta well, mine shaft, like kind of like the. I like this one. Place. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very simple oh, yeah. and effective. Like, I like the little bit of uh, spruce forest out here. I need to do it. Need to expand yeah, this. No. You've really like closed in like the trees, and I like that. I'm gonna do that with some of the other areas. So it's just so I don't have to going down. Like, it's really dense. I forgot how dense it was. <laughs> oh, Litterfall's default anyway, isn't it? So we'll definitely go that way. Yes. No, I like having sort of like dense foliage around the rail because that means I don't have to bother terraforming around the, too far away from it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good Yeah, point. it works for a while because you can just use the leaves as a natural barrier to stop mobs getting in. Yeah. Mm. Please work. Yeah, I just, have to remake this T-junction twice. Yeah, this T-junction has been a real bother one for some reason. Don't know why. It's because I made it again. Um, there we go. Hey, nice. I I remade it when I didn't have a finished design for a T junction, so it was kind of like the new concept without a new design. Right, got you. And then I I messed it up slightly, so I had to remake it again. Uh, on our left, we have Litterfall. This is my tree logging area, and I I really like it. It's cool. I love how it glows at night. Redstone down below is an absolute mess. Like this bit over here is a nightmare. I have to just try again. <laughs> this is one of my favourite rails on the server, even though I barely ever use it. Uh, when it when it's a pass through, it'll be nice. Yeah. Oh, those are some funky trees. I did not know that they were like this. Yeah, I've been doing some. I experimented with some different tree designs. I like this little like. I don't know what you call this, but I like it. It feels very cozy. Kind of gazebo-esque. Yeah. So we should be going left. Oh, uh, yeah, we should be going left after we get to the Once top. We get to, yeah, top of spawn, we should go across towards Lewis's direction. Yeah. I, I love that reveal there. Yeah, it's a nice one. That does a very monumentous. I, I, I honestly rode this rail so little. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. It's not my least. Lack it's... Of way to get... Oh, my LA. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Whenever I ride the rail, like an LA appears out of nowhere. Yeah, it's always just some LA's just scattered around. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't run in front of Joe's car and he gets stopped. That's one of the issues with the LA's, yeah. yeah. I don't really use this one very often because it's a bit windy and kind of a bit slow compared to yeah. other routes. Yeah, as much as I really like the design, I do tend to avoid it with routing. Yeah. Because it is slow, but it is nice. Is this tower finished? Oh, it looks great with the sunset in my fog mod. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna Sunrise. adjust it. I need to, it's not finished, finished, but it's kind of like the mm -hmm. basis of it. It's gonna be ruined, so. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. We should be going left here. Yeah, we should go left. Yeah, I heard noises. Yep, there we go. Whoa, <laughs> hell yeah. This will then go down towards Lewis's area where we'll get to see all the bridges. This is like the bridge area of the server. <laughs> yeah. The view is really, the view is actually really nice from up here. Yeah, <laughs> you like it. The sunrise. I love this actually. The rail, every I think every part of the rail looks better at night. No, it's not my minecart. Oh, sorry, Joe. You can kill it if you like. I don't know how. Oh, uh, 
Just take the item off it and then it won't follow me anymore. Okay. But yeah, there's Lewis's town and Lewis's house. Got the, uh... Oh, I'm not... So are we going the... Oh, hello. We should be going straight I don't know how here. you take the item off of it. Oh, maybe only I can. I think only, uh... You have to have an empty hand, yeah. Yeah, Going forward, yeah, okay. Oh, this is this is entirely it. new to me at this point. I like this thing, like with like the hollow roof. Cool. Yeah, I almost filled it in, and then I was like, mm, no. I think it's better without <laughs> being filled in. So Lewis wanted oh. me to base the rail design uh, 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 on his storage room. So that's where this came from, basically. And then this transitions into Ben's yep. rail. There's Ben over there. There's a lighthouse, and then oh, I didn't. I'm not actually seen this bit here with the. Uh, have you got stopped again, Joe? <laughs> yes. It immediately <laughs> stopped me. No, I recommend I, zooming out with this one, CC. Yeah, I really nice. like it. Whoa. Oh, what the hell? This is funky. I like it. Very, very, very Ben theme. It is very Ben. <laughs> yeah, he was like, just match the block pile. I'm like, can do. This oh, is no, Chris. I want to get the block. Oh, wait. Will he finally get back on? Yeah. Oh, is that I mean, close that's, enough? We yeah, that's close enough. I think it will be. That's definitely close enough. This bit I've seen on stream, but I haven't actually like been on it yet. Ooh, I like the call. Oh, I, went, I came from the other direction, didn't I? Yes, I, I know oh, where I am. Maybe. Yeah, I came from the other way. Oh, it's a shame that sodium... Yeah, I think they're working on it. They have to be. So Andrew's base down there. Is that okay? That's gonna be a junction then. Yeah. Oops, sorry. I didn't mind that. No, that's, that's fine. And we've got some uh, detector rail powering bits here. <laughs> I've noticed as well the minecart splashes in the water somehow. Like that. Just oh, because of like on the route, on like the uh, yeah. waterlogged. This is cool. I don't know when you did all this. <laughs> uh, I did it in you one just week. powered through it. <laughs> I really did. I was just I, like, oh, it needs to be done. I'm doing it. I didn't play much on the server for like a week and then disappeared. Yeah. I, guess, yeah, I was yeah, busy doing the little bits of spawn and updating everything and Kieran was doing this. I like these sort of like... So we're gonna make some minecarts on uh, backyard. I think this is gonna be the style I kind of go for. It's like the, nice. the easier. Right, this is the log. I, I like the log. This is the big log. Yeah. Big log. Bees. This. I thought this would be a monumental part of the rail. It was actually a lot easier than I thought. Um, it didn't take as much birch as I thought. It's like only like a shulker and a half. It's bold to go as birch. Not a very popular one. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a shot. I think good. I like it. It's, it's, it. it stands out by being like so mm, white. Yeah. Should be going along rickety here. Yep. Yep. Nice. It's all gone well I'm so surprised. far. <laughs> <laughs> There's the. I like uh, Lewis's town view yeah. from here. Oh yeah. You, you probably could have fit like another like eight mine carts behind me before the rail changed. Yeah. No. It's it's it's, it's quite a long. Uh, <laughs> That's good. Gap, yeah. Well, it resets with every minecart as well. Yeah, so. But like, I think like it, it, you have to like really spread out. Uh, train says I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, you've missed you a missed bit the of the rails, train. but we'll probably have a video of this at some point soon. Yeah, the vod will be up. Yeah. But everyone, train bread. Train bread. I can't eat it right now. I'm no. Not gonna. Yeah. Unfortunately, you don't lose hunger, so you can't really eat much of the train bread. <laughs> yeah, no, unfortunately, <laughs> this is a meant to be AFKable, Joe. <laughs> Imagine if you lost hunger in a minecart. Yeah. Imagine if, yeah. You'd be like running along with it Flintstone style. <laughs> it's crazy and that like you don't lose hunger when you use a boat. Like, right? Rowing a boat is not easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we should be going, are we going forward or left here? Should be going left. Okay. Yeah, we've Christmas. got train bread. Look, look trains. Train bread. <laughs> well, the, the routing is actually working out. This is unreal. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many tickets we'll have at the end. Yeah, um, we're definitely losing one because of the... Or, uh, we're definitely going to have one left because of the litterful turn being default. I forgot about that. 
So one of the issues is if we ever have any loose tickets that go back into Stockholm, it'll throw the tickets into my minecart machine, so I have to go down there and dig them out. Oh, <laughs> wait. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's... Okay, this That's is... That's Gloomvale down there. Oh, yeah, Gloom... Uh, we've got this bridge here. Gloomvale is down there. And then we're about to hit this big bridge over here. Which... Oh, God, I'm not fast enough. There it is. Beautiful bridge, I love this one. Yeah, I'm quite proud of this one. <laughs> uh, don't worry, this won't go all the way to my base. I made like a loop a little okay. earlier. Um, Big cave. A bit smoother than the last time I was here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's taking work. I like that the rails are just like on the stone and just like. Ooh. So back that way will be towards the stronghold and also some of the other things. Pine water. It will link up to the lush rail as well, which yeah. is very incomplete. We go back on this. Uh, Just yeah. a big diorite wall at the moment. <laughs> so we should be going left. Uh, yeah, once again. You get to the, be doing Christmas coal, right? Yeah. We going past where Ferrumstead will turn, and then should be going back to Stockholm. Obviously, the rails, if you ever use like the rail system in like normal, you're not going to be taking this long on the tracks. This is intentionally no. like a windy. This is like a tour, yeah. An optimal route. <laughs> yeah, all the tickets will be like programmed to be the most efficient route. Or the most scenic, if you prefer. Yeah, I think you can have a choice, really. You know what? I don't think this bread bridge gets enough credit. Yeah, I was kind of... Oh. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to change any of it. I think the simplicity works, but yeah, it's <laughs> very simple. Hey, and we get a Christmas coal. Yeah, I built two mine shafts and rails now, so I'd, I'm going to try and avoid doing another one. I'm going to do one... I've got, I've got one currently, like, in Valley... And I'm going to have one next to Stockholm, that's probably going to be the extent of my mine shafts. Yeah, that's fair. And then it goes over to... The, it's just probably my favourite bridge on the server. I really like this one. I don't know, it's just something really? about it. I, I, I still... There's something off about it. I think the pillars are too yeah. close to the centre or something. I just I just really like the style of bridge. Like, I yeah. like the rail part of it. I yeah, it's the, the, the supports are... It's f I'm not going to change it. No, no, it's, it's okay, but... I like the idea yeah, of the I'm top bit. I want to do something with it myself <laughs> at some point. I think it could be fun. Yeah, uh, Trains is right. We probably should name a rail bread. after bread. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be wrong. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> hey, and then this should be taking us on the home stretch back to Stockholm. Oh yeah, we did put a coal pumpkin. Yeah, so that actually would default to the lush rail. Um, right. Oh yeah, because I see the Fennec one. The support pillars are like in the entirely wrong area, change says. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're meant to be on the bit where they connect, isn't it? Rather than the bits there. Yeah. yeah. We got this bit here. That, that, that would take you back to spawn. We're going this way to take over, over to Stockholm. Oh, how dare you? I, I, I didn't mean to. I just accidentally had that right <laughs> click and I didn't rise to a fence gate. Did you manage? Oh, was it? I thought it was a trapdoor. No. Oh, it's on the fence gate in the middle. <gasps> well, that's, that is a trapdoor. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame we're not arriving at night because Stockholm looks. Yeah, Stockholm great is beautiful at night. I think a lot of this server just looks better at night. <laughs> yeah. I think most things do really. When they, something glows, it just looks better. Mm -hmm. I like how the trees sort of mask the. Uh... But then, oof, that opens up. So with Stockholm, are you still gonna keep um, what the the chest kind of disappearing? Hmm. Like the the ticket chest. Are you, oh yeah, are you yeah. Gonna keep that. Yeah. Yeah. 
What I might, what I might do is might have like some hoppers on the roots, so like any items that are in there get taken out, just so they don't end up in the system. Yeah. I think my preferred style is the one you've got, Froglin. I think that's kind of what I'm going to be using. Where like we use the. the uh... We just load stuff into the same part. And I then... think it depends on the station I'm going for. Like I like having unloading areas, and we're back. Nice. I also, uh, I've I've now flipped this rail so it, you end up on this end and not on this Yeah, I end. noticed that. I, I thought something feels weird about this. Yeah, you, you used to end up in this corner. Like, it doesn't really make any sense to end up in this corner. And, like, yeah. it, used, it used more redstone to do it worse. Right. I guess <laughs> if you were going with a single platform system, you'd want to load in this way, right? Because then yeah. you'd leave this way too. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, get, I put an ender chest in here, by the way. Uh, oh, there used to be one right here, but it's gone. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Well, there's one. That's a lot of fun. I, I, it's nice to be on the veil, just, just relaxing. Yeah. Nice to see what you guys have been up to since, since I had my hiatus. <laughs> it's the same because um, Joe's uh, rail by his base is really nice, but it's just not connected. It's not connected. Yet. It'll, it'll be connected in the next two years. We'll... <laughs> hey, two years? That's that's ambitious. <laughs> oh God. On my to do list, that sort of thing. So, the fact is that most of it is done. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I love taking the rail, but I, I don't know if I'm going to be taking a 5,000 block long rail to get to yours. <laughs> oh, yeah, especially when the piston belt exists, which. Li yeah. I, oh, yeah, Kieran, I timed it since you asked, isn't it annoying? Like, when you asked before, isn't it annoying to get back to your base? I timed it. Yeah. One minute, six seconds it takes to get back to my base from, like, Spawn to my storage room. Yeah, it's like five thousand okay. blocks. That's pretty good. Uh, train says, "What was it that you wanted to show me? Is it the, was it the train bread?" <laughs> it was just the train bread. Sorry, <laughs> dude, that's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the train bread. It's this will be the official food of the uh, the rail. <laughs> yeah, train bread. <laughs> yeah, every station must have a little little like, confection train, stand, cafe, <laughs> little yeah. cafe that sells train bread. <laughs> every ticket you purchase, you get a bit of train bread. <laughs> Oh, is that official to the shop, Kieran? <laughs> I am going to be selling some train tickets because I don't think all of them will be programmed in. Mm -hmm. um, well, I know for a fact Nicole wants her junction to be a like a toll instead of just a free ticket. So it'd be like a renamed diamond instead. Or right. maybe you buy the ticket, you know? But yeah. I think for lower spawn, I'm gonna try pre-programming as many as possible. Yeah, yeah. You want you want to have spawn. like the central area be like the most connected. Yeah. For the ones further out, that'll be really easy. It'll just be like a one ticket and then decode yeah. or encoded on the way out. But yeah, yeah. Central area be good. Okie dokie. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, resource grinding before I end my stream. But that was really nice. Enjoy. Enjoyed that. Cool. Bye. It's nice to know that the system, even though quite complicated, like can work just by looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> you can just look at the map oh, and just figure it out. Yeah, I'll get okay. a better map going. I got four membranes from that phantom. Hey. Chain is great. <laughs> uh, sorry, I missed some of your messages there. Uh, Crispy says... Skin editor is going to make me go insane. It just cleared everything again. What do you use CC for your skins? I use Blockbench. Uh, I really like Blockbench. It's like a Minecraft. It's 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 intended more for like modeling, like custom items and stuff. But it you can use it to make Minecraft skins, and I I, I love it. It's really good. Let's put my Minecraft off actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a bit of a um. Resource grind for the end of the. Rip minus need to call shoes. Yeah, I think uh, it's probably too much to get to telling right now. So let's go look in my uh, my 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 area, and we can see what we are lacking. <laughs> Got like loads of barrels we need to get. Photography. I need my my music turned off. Yeah, music's back on. Uh, this one's missing loads of stuff, apparently. Is it nothing in here? Hmm. I think maybe focus on one of these kind of blocks. 
Should I download it or just use the web app? I didn't even know there was a web app. Web app. I've just been using the, uh, the the program. I'd imagine the program's more reliable. I've not had any problems with it at all. You need to make yearly world down into some, this world or something. That could be fun. Uh, how about we do a bit of a wood collection? Because I'm kind of out of spruce it seems so let's go get some spruce wood because uh, yeah i need some of that uh let's grab some saplings which i go into my proper storage sue me <laughs> she's in a mood today she's uh she's wanting attention but she doesn't want it like Hello. <laughs> okay, uh, what am I doing? I want to go into my florist, grab some saplings and go mine some trees, I guess. Boop-a-doo. Uh, stack of saplings and grab some bone meal. Also going to grab a uh, bed too, probably, because it's going to be a bit dangerous out there. I think this is genuinely the first time in the entire server I've ever actually went out and mined trees, like spruce trees specifically. I've never needed to. Where's my bed? See, they are. Yeah, skin is good. I, I've i had some problems with it, but it's a good starter one. I recommend block bench. Let's give that a go. Okay, let's just go up here and just kind of mine out some of the trees and let's see what we can get. Must be nice CC. Oh, <laughs> Be fair, no mine trees. You know what I mean. <laughs> like spruce wood, I just never needed. Well, I, it's I've 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 obviously gone out and collected wood intentionally, but spruce wood specifically, like I got so much from just clearing out like the area for Stockholm that I never actually needed to like seek it out until now. It seems. <laughs> but yeah, do a little Z Z Z. The music's too loud now. I need to turn it down. Turned it up earlier. I don't know why. Don't know much what I want to get. Probably enough to just maybe like a half a shulker, maybe. Yeah. I'm definitely going to rename the stream vod because I did not really do what I. Uh, I initially advertised <laughs> it's been a bit of one of those kind of uh change course sort of <laughs> streams. Ah. Ow. Suffering from success. Succeeding? No, succeeding from success, yeah. Oh, gee, that's the one I've been using this whole time, and I thought it was something else. Oh, what? Skindex. I might be a little dim, aren't we all? Sometimes. And most of the time. I've had some pretty dim moments recently. <laughs> Hello. I'm guessing, like, lightning struck this tree or something at some point. Oh, do share. Uh, I'm trying to think what the most, like, I don't know, it happens so often that I don't really pay attention to this specifically now. Oh, God. I think it's more just, like, a general dimness in any specific moment. I think well, it's one of the stupidest things I've done is I can't think off the top of my head. I'll have loads of stories later. But... What about... God. Present, now, moment, currently. That was intentional. I just kind of kept using words to, like, say... Okay, it's, it, we're now back in regular time. We're no longer in clip mode. And I just kept putting in more words. <laughs> stroking, I'm stroking.
Leave me alone. See you, Inferno. Thanks for coming to the stream. I'll have another one on Sunday. Hopefully we'll keep that one uh, a bit more progress on that one. We've got some nice progress today. We've got, like, uh, finish off that cliff, or at least uh, finish it off enough for now until we start adding more stuff to it later. But, yeah, thank you for coming, and I'll see you next one. Said that weirdly. <laughs> I have no idea how to use block bench. Yeah, it's a bit of a learning curve. I can give you a little uh, rundown sometime if you want. Oh, did you check the tickets? Oh, I didn't check the tickets. That's a good point. I don't want to leave them in there. I need a name for that dog, actually. I don't think I've got a name for it yet, do I? No, I don't. I've had that dog for like two years now. Uh, oh, oh, almost missed. If you don't mind, that would be good. Yeah, it's 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 pretty simple once you get used to it. It's just the hotkeys aren't the standard. Uh, nothing in there. So forest arch was not used. Berry podzel was not used. Rickety Christmas was not used, and that's it. So they must be all the defaults. Or we just didn't go in that route at all. <laughs> just stops half remaining tree. I know. I like, it's like I, 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 if I if I didn't, I wouldn't have. Run, I would have forgotten out. Which she was it actually, that one. Yeah, I, I, I'm a bit sort of like, oh, rabbit, kind of. <laughs> Quill. Which wood we got? You get so much wood from just like spruce trees, it's ridiculous. I love it. So I'm I'm able to do a free sixty degree streams, and I would like to know what the heck that would look like for Minecraft. I know there's a mod that lets you have like a free sixty degree camera. Might be an auto. I think it's an ADHD thing. It's like a, I I'm I'm going to be tested for ADHD eventually, but uh, or ADD probably. I don't think I'm hyper. I think I'm just definitely attention attent um. Yeah, I, uh, attention deficit. Is it attention? Uh, um, do you think? Do you think Voldemort, when he was a ghost in Albania, suffered from ADD? There he was floating about, and suddenly he was like, <laughs> "Oh God, that's a bit of a stretch." That one, attention deficit. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> I think all jokes should start with, do you think Voldemort from Albania, when he was a ghost in Albania? ADD doesn't exist anymore, they're both ADHD, just different types. Right, okay. No, don't, don't, don't defecate your attention. Get this. Ow. I remember, like, at one point they used to be, like, OCD and OCPD, but I don't know if they, like, still both exist. Isn't it this? Because what what Joe wrote was what Kieran wrote was definitely not deficits. <laughs> the mining's always quite relaxing. I hear so many zombies, by the way. Why do I hear so many? I think there's like a cave down here. Oh, oh, don't baby. Oh my god! What the heck? <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh my god! Oh god, it's <laughs> ah, get out of here! <laughs> what the heck? Let's go grab some torches. I I found the source. I can't deny that. I think that might be the closest I've come to dying in this game on this server that isn't being like uh velocity based.
Got some torches. So let's check out these um these tickets into the into the ticket pile. Let's tail. Look, let's just go check these logs into the uh, system for now. Uh, it should be this one. Yeah. God, that's barely any. Oh well, it's a little bit. Let's go back up and light that cave up. It's... <laughs> I'm guessing that Lather like, spawned from like and just picked up items over time because he could, when when the mob picks up an item it can't despawn anymore. I've had to do so much more research into it because people don't believe you when you say you have ADHD anymore, even when you take meds for it. Yeah, that is uh, an issue. Is like a lot of people online just sort of. I think it, it's the 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 term has lost a lot of meaning. Like sometimes it's. Like, there's a difference between being like actually, actually having a disorder and or just being like a bit scatterbrained. And sometimes the symptoms can be kind of general enough that people can like a, like kind of, uh, oh, what's the word? Like, apply it to themselves almost. But, like it's it's so general it can kind of fit everyone, or like at least like the way people talk about the terms and stuff, kind of makes them lose their meaning somewhat. But there are some just like really vague disorders, like autism. Uh, in inherently is like, like you can have complete opposite symptoms and still have autism, which I think is fascinating. Oh, there's even more of these guys. Ow! 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 God, these guys are doing some damage. What are your bows? Ah! I think you you do have like there's there's obviously like reasons that people self-diagnose, especially in countries like America and stuff, where it costs a lot to even attempt to get a diagnosis, never mind actually getting one. And like some medical services are not the most efficient, so like I don't blame people for relying on self-diagnosis, but I I do think it's one of those things where there's definitely people who don't understand it. And like really simplify it, and it just kind of hurts everyone. It's one of those things that like you can't really disprove when someone had, like if someone doesn't have something. So here's the question: So like mobs don't despawn if they're holding an item. The thing is, skeletons do hold items. Like, they hold bows. And I'm not saying, obviously skeletons can despawn. But what if a skeleton holds, like, your bow? Like, if it picks up your bow, and then, like, can it, can it just despawn with it? A lot of uh, people can do it when they really are, it's very frustrating. Yeah, it's one of those things you can't also, like, you can't dispute someone. It's only picked up after. Only items picked up after spawning. Got you. Okay. Yeah, I think also sometimes diagnoses make it more complicated for yourself. Like, if you're, if you're coping and you are able to, like, exist without any problems, then I don't think it's necessary to go through the diagnosis route because it just starts to become, like, a bit, um... Like it, it almost complicates it more for yourself, and having to like deal with all the labels and stuff can actually cause more problems than if you just sort of deal with it. I get, I don't know if that sounds wrong, but uh, there's lots of messages. No, self diagnosis is hard. Obviously, like, everything is kind of somewhat based on self-diagnosis, but I think a lot of the time, like, because to me, I don't really view myself as being autistic, because, like, it isn't weird for me. The things that, like, are autistic, like, the things that are symptoms of autism are just, well, symptoms of normality for me. I don't really question them until, like, I'm in a situation where people are like, wait, what? <laughs> and, like, I, I, I can't really, like, diagnose myself almost, because I'm like... 
I don't really consider it as being something weird or wrong. And I only started to really question myself when people were telling me that I was, like, something. And, like, yeah, I realized I was something. But it didn't really change anything for me. And more complicated things, I think. I started trying to find excuses and stuff rather than, like, just... I think, how do I deal with my autism rather than trying to deal with myself, I guess? I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, the bone meal can actually go into a storage room. Let's, do so. Let's get into my storage and I think we can maybe uh, wind down the stream. I diagnosed it with a leaf because it's just a few... That explains why I'm weird. I'm not insane. That's it. I, th I never had those thoughts, I don't think. Like, I don't think I ever really questioned myself that much. And like, if people did question me, like, I didn't... It kind of, like rolled off a bit but then once we started going down the, the the roots of like diagnosis and stuff i feel like i started actually questioning it it's like it, it it made me more like um more hesitant about stuff and I, I i lost the confidence i had if the people on tiktok who film themselves and clearly think it's just a fun quirky thing to have rather than an actually mental f yeah there's like fake disorder sort of stuff Obviously, there are people with real disorders, but like, there's some who like say, "Oh, Tourette's," and it's like, "No, you just you're just shaking your hand." It's like, that's not actually that's not what how that how that works at all. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not a, a I'm not a a, 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 a festival <laughs> expert in the field, but from experience, I've been around. Like, I went to a college with a lot of disabled people, like both physical disabilities and like. Uh, like disorders or mental health issues and stuff, and like I I I know what it's like to be around people like that, and like to be one myself, and yeah, I, I can tell when someone's like, no, that's that's not real. <laughs> I'm gonna make a tra I'm gonna make a train bread chest, though obviously I don't have the authority to say when someone is lying. Obviously, like. There's some people who are so obviously fake. I think a lot of the time, unless someone's being actively harmful about it, it's not even worth like trying to dispute them. Uh, train bread can go. Yeah, that's really in the way. I'll put the train bread next to the plant. Uh, here, why not? Train bread. So, uh, I think that is probably where we are going to call the stream for today. Sorry I didn't do as much today as I initially intended, but I think we got some good stuff going. Um, it's nice just kind of exploring the veil, seeing some of the stuff I haven't really seen in a while, and there's lots of stuff I've got some inspiration for. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next stream. Bye! Just going to uh, like carry on talking if you want, I was going to do this. No, that's what I want. There we go, there's my outro music. <laughs>